Hey guys, me, Space Godzilla, Final Wars. Lord the Space Kaiju here. Today, I'm going to be talking about my first ever dinosaur hybrid OC. We're going to go over the Eel Raptor. Now, now the Eel Raptor stands at a height around. Well, it's basically around the same height as of both the, of the Indoraptor. Basically, when it stands on all fours. No, wait, no. It's actually, it's actually a little bit bigger than the Scorpius Rex, actually. It walks on all fours as well. Now, this thing is a male, actually. And the DNA from it is the main geo is basically both Velociraptor and, and eels. But the rest consists of the following. Some of the most dangerous aquatic predators, such as shark. That's it's both sharks, angular, angular fish, sharks, angular fish, and piranhas, the scorpius fish. Correct me am I right if I said scorp if I said scorpion fish right? Lion, lionfish, freaking those small ass little mother freaking jellyfish. In Australia, and snakes, and the pit viper, tarant tarantulas, the tarantula hawk wasps, and the dinosaur ones being both jigga, being both pieces of the both the velociraptor, indoraptor. And Scorpius Rex. Now go on to its appearance. Its appearance, after all, this looks <clears throat> pretty decent, but it said has a large fin. Since it's aquatic, also in nature, so it's amphibious. It has four eyes on both. It has two eyes on both sides of his face. A bioluminescent body was basically with spots go was basically only one row of spots coming down right next to its body every time. And the color and it's basically black in color. It's basically all white in color, with only blue, with blue like with blue like dots on it. Blue eyes, a blue mouth, with a blue tongue and blue spines. Oh, it's, it, it was a whole lot worse coming in, in your way. <laughs> oh, the. Now it's origins. It was created as a bioweapon. It was created as a as a another combatant for the Indoraptor. <laughs> well being a aquatic counterpart to the Indoraptor. <clears throat> now this guy I say <sighs> this female was basically specially designed to go to the deepest parts of the of the world's oceans, including the Mariana Trench. So she So a group of scientists decide 
decided, well, Dr. Rue decided to make a quad counterpart for the, for the Indoraptor. Dominant the Ocean Raptor. But the Eel Raptor is way more better. But base but what happened was when they got the slicing of the DNA of the creature well slicing up the DNA of multiple of of marine life and both the, the DNA is both the both the Velociraptor, the Indoraptor and the Scorpius They created themselves an, an unstable killing machine. So what Doctor Rue decided to do was basically put in stasis, basically put into to deep stasis, to deep freeze. And luckily, well, well, basically the entire I like the entire mansion happened, just got broke, went to ash, went, went to all hell. Someone accidentally released the released the creature, allowed him to escape and allowed to escape into the wa- into and the into the forest with the rest of the dinosaurs. And oh, did I forgot to mention this thing's female. Yeah, it is female. Forgot to mention. I already mentioned it. She ends up finding a nearby gigantic body of water. And she decided to make that as a layer. Cause for the last two what two weeks she's been hunting both she's been hunting fish, or well, she's been eating fish, deers, Bears, wolves, and other animals that, and other animals that keep getting into her territory. But that is not until she met. But that is not until she met another Indoraptor hybrid, being my. Be my second first OC, the Dark Indoraptor. We'll probably go on a profile on him later on. Now he was two. Now he was actually two times bigger than her. Actually, being only like five meters in height. Will be more larger than that, <laughs> but he's over like seven meters in height, actually. And we'll go over his DNA later on too. So what happened was they got to know each other for a bit. Apparently, he he also has some family traits similar to to the eel raptor. And they actually do only end up having one child. Well, and the, well, she ended up laying an egg. Well, she ended up do lay an egg, and she decided to be nest bound. And well, well, as far as you guys should probably, she actually, well, spoilers for, <clears throat> well, spoilers for my new audiobook series coming up. Called Rise of the Demon Ra- Rise of the De- of the Devil Raptor. Well, waking as the of the Devil Raptor. Shouldn't have been captured by a bunch of humans. 
Wait, do I see? Wait, do I ain't make an audiobook series of that? Man, I don't know. She's gonna get captured by a bunch of humans, and in her, as long as their egg. <clears throat> but the dark raptor was so peed off. He just saw it call upon others. Well, he let a roar that freaking woke. Well, let's just say he went he went over there to the science lab, to the lab, and they're killing a whole bunch of people. And the way he killed was similar to both riot, venom, and carnage. So he ended up breaking out his mate and their egg. And I'm escaping back to, an, to another for, part of the forest. And they're finally their egg hatched, giving them blue rap. Blue fang. Yeah, blue fangs. To their only son. And for her abilities, well, you guys might expect bioluminescence. And she's also, oh yeah, the eel is actually an electric eel. So she's going to freaking shock you. Kit <laughs> Kite Lily. <laughs> she also has poison, she also has venom, venom tick fangs, and a bite, and she can swim very fast similar to a me- to a shark. Like this, like like the Scorpius, she could also show out quills from her. Sp- she could also show out quills from the spots, from the spots that are near her spines. And she also has echolocation similar to her mate. But that's basically it of her profile. Like, comment, subscribe, and what's your guys' opinion on the EO Raptor? So, goodbye.